So this is Kelly from Brew Pursuit Junk Journals. And I have a little journal here I made a while back. And I think I'm just gonna finally put it on the market. It's got this cute little fun doily. These are removable signatures. So if you're interested in a journal where you can uh, take out the pages and uh, put new pages in, this might be for you or just keep it as is. Uh, the cover is a uh, hand tanned leather by a Native American in the area. There's, uh, I don't know what tribe they were from, typically Oneida in this area, but anyway, it was hand tanned. And uh, so it's just a little scrap of that that I made into a cover. It's got the nice soft leather inside. And then we're just gonna do a little flip through on this journal. Now this is very, very simple, mostly just blank, pages ready for you to decorate. So obviously the price that I put on this will be reflective of that. And shipping will be the, the this little piece of vellum for a little slide through pocket. So my first round of hand dyed paper that I did. And this signature was sewn together. Little fun India map. Gotta love India. I love India. <laughs> Some stamping I did on a little sheet of paper. I love these long skinny clusters on the edge of the page and you add a tab to, tab to them. It's one of my favorite things. Here's the middle of a signature. Nice graph paper, the miniature, that uh, micro graph paper. Little handmade envelope, some washi tape, fun, stationery, some more of that stamped paper. So with this, the whole entire signature would have to come out because the signature is sewn along the edge there. And it adds a nice little stitching element. Lots of fun. Length pages ready for your pockets and your belly bands and all that. Although there is one here that's a nice little Tim Holtz uh, card made into a pocket. And another one of those long skinny tab edges and a little pocket at the back to store little papers and such. So just a nice, cute little, it's got some, uh, I think this is eyelash lace on the white elastic, and then there's a little button tied to the end. All right, and this is a very uh, elegant junk journal. I wanted to do a little flip through for you. And also a suggestion that this, as you can see, is from an evening purse. So a little rectangle evening purse that I did get at a secondhand store. So if you were interested in replicating a journal like this, you really only need that uh, little purse. So an evening purse and then a collection of different papers, stationery, lined paper, ledger paper. And then the other one item that I had were these little gold stickers that I added to all the pages. I had a little extra fabric here that, and some buttons that I thought added a nice little touch to kind of bring the back had some, some pockets in it. I should, it wasn't the back of the purse, but it had some little uh, built-in pockets in it. So I thought that would add a little unification to it, but it's got this nice gold beading on the outside. So it's just, a nice tall skinny maybe like a planner or something like that so we're just going to do a really quick little flip through because these pages are mostly here's a little invoice paper and i did have some of my hand dyed paper but really any kind of paper that you find appealing colors, things like that. So especially at secondhand stores, I go straight to the office supply section and that's where I find most of these papers. This, this particular one is uh, straw paper that you find 
in the front cover. So you'll have a front cover of a book and then that first page is usually a colored page. And that's typically where I get paper like this. And they come in all different colors. And I kind of save those and use those also in my journals. I love this wide uh, writing paper. I think it's for approximately uh, third grade for so like elementary school age kids. I love that cream color paper with the blue line. It's so pretty little faux invoice here. So of course you could put a real invoice in there. And then some of this lovely uh, textured paper that I got somewhere. So very simple um, and lovely. So if uh, I do have the video that I will put the link in the description below for how I constructed this journal and while I was working on it, in addition to putting the link to it being for sale. And I'll also list uh, the price, whether or not it's available or, or whether it's been sold. So, all right, I love this cute little journal. So I wanted to give you a flip through. Just so you know, the cover is actually uh, a, the packaging for uh, postcards so or were they or maybe they were just greeting cards with this sort of image on the front i didn't add anything to it, it the postcard uh packaging look had this image on it and i just thought it was so cute that i thought it had to be made into a journal uh the back had like the you know the little barcode and stuff on it so i covered that up with some with some paper and then we'll just do a little flip through this does have two signatures in it and then lots of lovely little collage that I had a lot of fun making. And there's a little pocket this way. Had fun making putting in little little stamps and things like that. Little writing area. This is that old Autobahn paper from like the early 1900s and it's just Got like a pink tinge to it, and it's so fragile, but it's just it's quite lovely. Lots of writing space, little pocket it says Paris on it, and this lovely little Christmas postcard was in a scrapbook at one point. And little advertisement that says a new school for young ladies. And that was in 1790. Little advertisement, so cute. So this has definitely like a French um, kind of a style to it. And a little atomizer images. Lots of stamps for French sort of items. 1879 botanical plate fruit and flower plates lithograph lithographed and colored and i have one fun page i have coming up that i really had fun doing and i do suggest it as a especially if you have a small journal i thought it was such a a cute idea look at all the fun those that little double page for writing space so cute it's a little pocket this is piano roll paper envelope or pocket I mean a little collaged belly band little, I don't oh no it's just writing space it's not a pocket <laughs> here's a little pocket a little stamp in there these were like wedding favor uh, cards and I just use those as little tabs. I thought that was nice. A little French quilt. And another little advertisement. And then this is my favorite page. It's got all kinds of real stamps, genuine stamps that are all clustered together on that page. So that's fun. And then of course the library pocket. A little added pocket. At the, I like to have a little nice big pocket at the end of my journals. So th I love this little little cute thing. I mean, obviously it's pretty much small um, postcard size. Essentially, is what this this journal size is. So that's easy uh, <laughs> for 
size comparison so you know it's a it's little and tiny and of course the price and uh, link to my Etsy shop will be in the description below as always thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later